Yo, y'all know what it is, man. Y'all, you see what? I got J dot T dot verified out here with me, man. What? But I ran into family what? out here at the pick and pull, man. What? And a lot of people don't know my past. Uh, what? This right here is like family, family. So, you know, we were just sitting here talking, and he was telling me about one of the cars that my dad had that he got. And tell him what kind of car it was. A 1976 Grand Prix Keystone all the way around. 400 in the hood. Look at here. Dual exhaust, chili. Power. What? I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all know what it is, man. That's, you know what I'm saying? Long live my daddy, man. I'm trying to tell you, that's that's how it is. That's it. That, like, everything he had was always True that. power. So, True that. you know. True that. Hey. True that. Man, man, respect, man. I'm going to get out here and prove Man, respect, far. bro. All right. Hey, bro, let me roll over the ladder and I'll holler at you later. All right. Got much love. I'm up in Marion, man. Okay. Hey, y'all. Um, yeah. So, me and two at the pool today. Y'all see it. So I be telling y'all these LS engines are plentiful. The one sitting right here, man. Easy for somebody to come pull out right now. I got some 862 heads on it. That got to be a little five three, but everything now, as you can see. Yup, yeah, everything is done. All you gotta do is pull it out, break it down, clean it up, and go. That's really all you need to do. And I might uh get this little drop down pipe right here off of this piece right here. Just so I could use that on the um manifold for the turbo. I might take that off there. Cause I like how that that's already dropped down. I ain't got to do nothing but weld my little piece to it and just kind of go from there. So I don't know. We gonna we gonna see. We gonna see. We gonna see. Yep. So we out here. We looking for um, Chevy Equinox, preferably a 2010 on up. That's a 2009 enclave, enclave, whatever. Uh, got a lot of trailblazers down here. Uh, okay, so. They saying they got two 2012s, one 2010. It's Arcadia. Here go Equinox right here, 2012. Oh, we gonna see a little something. My first time. I'm actually looking for the um. I'm looking for the body control module. Thing. And those that know that I know, like I know, know that your body control module can be just about any place in these things. But you should be able to find them up under this section right here. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't usually slide stuff out like that right now. I like to get up in here and look. That's what I'm working with. But, uh, uh, see if I can kind of show y'all a little something. Ain't no use for no hood, so. Go ahead and cut that off right there. Right, get up under here and gonna see if I can get some wiggle room. Just a little. That's all I need. can't really show y'all what I got going on over here until I get this thing like all the way out. So this is what I'm gonna do. Just kind of try and pull these things out one by one. So I can see what's 
see what what I got going on. Like I told y'all, I'm looking for a body. Well, I came to get a body control module, so. Some of these little spots, these parts of being will make you fight to get them out. I'll tell you that now. So. We are. Actually, and there you have it. This is your body control module that we are actually looking for. It's supposed to be the same as, as the Camaros. So um, that was one of the main reasons why I came and uh, pulled this body control module out of just two 2012 equinox because they're supposed to be the same as the camaro so uh we're gonna see so we got that that's a plus for us right there uh, can't really think of anything else we need we i'm thinking about that piping over there but don't know we'll see uh oh yeah we're gonna start by the Cadillac that I got the uh, door panels out of the other day. I'm going to let Toot check the door panels. I mean, the uh, speakers out that's in the door panels. And see if we want to pull those right quick. So, y'all stay tuned. Yep, so we're approaching the Cadillac right here. This is the Cadillac the other day that I uh, came and got the uh, door panels out of. I don't even know. Let's say 2008. So 2008 STS look like. They go to the insides. I ain't gonna lie, the insides clean. The insides are clean. I actually like the dash, console, all the other good stuff too. Um, but right here, you can see what I'm coming back to look at. Them bowls, the speakers right there. Trying to debate whether I should grab them up. What you thinking, too? So, Toot say he want to give them a try. Um, my thing is, I see a, I see two power wires, a ground wire. So, I don't know if this. Speaking, if y'all know a little something extra that I don't know, tell me about it. Um, it looked like it might have like a little preamp or something built on top of it, right there. So y'all really gonna have to kind of help me out with that one right there, just to see what's what. And I want to see how the back of this thing look to make sure the magnet not all that big because that's the one thing that we not trying to do we ain't trying to have the magnet like really stick away off of that we don't really want to hack up the uh, door panels on the box yet but if we can get something make something work Yes. And it ain't seven. So y'all know I usually do this right here the hard way, right? I usually do this right here the hard way. It look like it's gonna rain on us today, so that's what we're gonna do. See if we got a battery in here. And this thing. I think it's in the only three screws 
holding it. Voila. And as you can see, I'm already liking the way that look right there. Nothing really on the back. So I can work with that. Uh, this is what we gonna do. Hand that one off the tube right quick. I'm gonna walk over here. On the other side, I'm gonna grab this other one out right quick. Toot to the rescue. <laughs> Let me see my uh, cutters over there. Put that down right there. I was just looking up under the trunk. Why do you always take the twelves from up under them? Them got to be some good twelves that they can see. Cause every time I come in here, they don't never have no twelves for the Cadillac to go up under that, but we good on that part, so. Uh, throughout it all, we gon' we got our little, uh, connector and all. We should be pretty, pretty straight. With it. There you go right there. We don't know what these is, 12, 8, or whatever, but uh we're gonna go ahead and take these to the front and see what we gotta pay for them. So we yeah. are yo, so just the Camaro I was at the other day, man, that y'all watched me pull the dash out or the cluster out. Y'all can see how quick they hit these cars, man. I got the shifter out. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking about um, moving my uh, emergency brake. But, man, you can see how they done, they run through, cuz. They run through. Dash still in here. Um, I think the panels for the side still in here. Uh, you can see right there where the screw's at. I still got my bracket like that right there, so... Y'all stay tuned for that video because I'm going to try to be super smart on putting my AC and stuff in there. So, uh, yeah, that's about it, man. We're going to head up here to this front right here and see exactly what we got going on with these here. And we got these because, uh, like I say, I was hoping no magnet wasn't on the back. They don't have magnets on the back, so we can actually mount these to the back of the door and we won't have to worry about cutting into the door. So with that being said, man, we're going to pay for these right here. We don't know if they work. Anytime you buy something from Pick and Pull, especially like speakers, you're taking a chance on it. So um, I know why me and Toot taking a chance. You know why we're taking a chance with it? Because we wanted it to fit inside the door panel. So we're just going to go with it. And we're going to go with it and see if it worked for us. If it don't work for us, then we still going to go with the six and a half. If it do work for us, then that's a big plus. What you think? Y'all see it, my boy. Two. Um, I don't know. We signing out, I guess, till we get to the crib. Say hi to the camera, Daryl.
Yeah. Yeah, me too. So a nice little interesting, interesting, interesting thing. Sitting on no side of the road, so y'all know we had to stop. They got 7,000 on here, man. They got 7,000 on it. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Inside look nice and clean. Y'all see what it is. I just want something to play with. Y'all might be looking at me like, boy, Rich crazy. He gonna try to spend seven bands in just a little hug. That got to be about a 69 right there. Y'all see it, man. He got all type of stuff out here, man. Y'all see it? Just working on little stuff. Get out. What that thing got on it? Some six, eight, sixty-two heads. Nice little pickup truck. They, they probably gonna put that together and sell that, man. But we come out here to handle some other business, man. So. And we don't want y'all in this business right here. Excuse me. So we're going to cut the camera off on y'all. Yeah, so we back at the crib. Y'all see what we got going on. We got our wires laid out that we pulled out of the box. Connectors. All that goes to the leadsparts.com, the Camaro harness. Um, these right here, I just took these right here out. These are pieces that actually go to the actual door panels that we uh, got the other day. I took those out because I wanted to um, look up some schematics or wiring diagrams for the wires. So that's the reason why I had those out to make sure. I know all of them not going to be the same, but I want to know what's what. And I still should be able to tell when you're looking at, in the doors at the wires, but... We'll see about all that. Right here. Um, went looking down inside the box and found the BCM. So it's a good deal. We don't have to go purchase one of those because we got it. Uh, this right here. This should have been with the dash. But... Uh, or this might just be a spare right here. This might 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 have been a spare, but uh, some trim pieces that I did pick up that I was actually missing when I uh got the actual other um dash. So those little pieces right there, a little, you know what I'm saying? Twenty five cent, ten cent pieces, but. Uh, yeah, just trying to separate everything so I can get everything classified to where it need to go um, and start getting some of the stuff out of here. I've came to the conclusion that I am probably going to pull the glass out of the G6 top, sell it, and uh, the motors, sell them, and just get rid of the rest of it so I can go ahead and start clearing some of this stuff out. All this stuff is car stuff. So... You know, you can see, except that that's camera, that's my video equipment. But all of that is car stuff, Summit, um, actual wiring, uh, harnesses for the car, my welder. And that G6 top just makes it look extra junky over here. So, and then you can see right here, it's not as junky as it looks. So, with that being said, man, lots and lots and lots and lots of work. So... Y'all know what it is, man. Your boy Rich Everything, man. I can tell y'all stay tuned so y'all can see what's going on next with all of these parts. Yup. Rich underscore everything. Man, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that bell for post notifications. We out.